In this video, I'd like to talk about linear equation word problems that specifically focus on graphs. So for this video, we're going to go through several of these example problems, and hopefully by seeing several different problem types, it will give you a little bit of a strategy for how to approach these. But the main part of these problems is just analyzing and interpreting the graph. So let's just jump right into this problem here. The percentage of the battery's capacity that is charged as a function of time, which is in minutes, is graphed. So it looks like on our horizontal axis, which we usually call the x-axis, but maybe in this case it's the t-axis for time, but this horizontal axis tracks our minutes. So here's 5 minutes, 10, 15, and so on. And this vertical axis here focuses on the capacity or the percent charged. So it looks like at 0 minutes, it is at 40% charged. And as time goes on, the charge increases in a linear fashion because it's not curving here. It's just going up in a straight line. And it looks like at 30 minutes that the battery will reach 100% capacity or 100% charge. So now let's focus on the question that they're going to ask. Let me just scroll down. So what was the battery's charging level? So what percent capacity did it have when the charging began? So you want to think about what time would it be when the charging began? And when it begins, that's when no time has passed. So this is when time is equal to zero. So we go to our zero value for our minutes, our time, and then we just go up to our blue curve here. And we've already kind of discussed it. At zero minutes, before we start charging the battery, it's at a 40% charge. So that is the answer to the question. 40% was the battery's charging level when the charging began. So let's move on to another one. So this one, we have the amount of fuel remaining in the truck's tank. And that's in liters as a function of distance driven in kilometers is graphed. So we've got this graph. It looks like our horizontal axis is the distance that's traveled. And the vertical axis is the fuel, or the fuel remaining in the tank, which again is in liters, and our distance is in kilometers. So generally when I approach these problems, I first like to highlight key information, and then I want to familiarize myself with both the horizontal axes and the vertical axes. I want to understand what I'm changing along this horizontal axis, and the same for the vertical axis. And so it looks like Right here would be zero kilometers. So this is the amount of fuel remaining in the truck's tank as the car is driven. So if zero kilometers have been driven, it looks like the car has 500 liters of fuel. And then as these kilometers are driven, you can see that the fuel is decreasing until you get to about this point right here, which might be somewhere around 850 minutes or 850 kilometers. And that's when the fuel which was in liters, will run out. So what distance did Carl travel by the time he had 200 liters of fuel? So our key information here is this 200 liters of fuel. So we're going to go to our, horizontal, our vertical axes because that deals with fuel. We go up to 200. And the question is, what distance did Carl travel when the truck only had 200 liters left in it? So we got to go over to our blue line here. So I'm just going to draw a dashed line to see where it intersects. It looks like right here. And we can see that at that point, Carl had driven 500 kilometers. So at 500 kilometers, there were 200 liters of fuel remaining. So to answer this question, you would put 500 into the box here.